Welcome back, this is the Amos Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Airship Suicidal, and I'm gonna take some water. Yes, but you can use this painting to <sighs> good water, good water, good water. Nice and chilly. From afar. Yes, uh, nice and chilly. Apparently I bought three shirts when I went out grocery shop, or not uh, grocery shopping, but uh, shopping last weekend. Apparently I bought three shirts, not two. I thought I bought two, but I bought three. One of them, the one that I discovered, I was like, ooh, I got another shirt. I don't like it though. <laughs> it's not comfy. It don't look cute. It's uh, it's just all around bad, so I'll probably just never wear it. Except uh, if I'm like desperate. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I, I apparently bought three shirts. I guess I guess one of the sets came with um, a uh, one of one of the pajama legs came with a shirt. Um, it was like a set, and I probably knew that when I bought them, but then immediately forgot. Is is my guess? That uh, that's that sounds like something I would do. That sounds like something I would do for sure. So we've been talking about VR a lot lately. I'm so excited, dude! I'm so excited. I'm hyping myself up so much for it. I'm hyping myself up so much for it. I'm so excited. I just it's next Friday. It's a week today, you know, it's a week today. Fourteen more episodes. I measure I measure time in episodes now. I know it sounds funny, but uh that's pretty much how it actually goes for me. Um I'm being completely sincere too, by the way. Uh it's it's a week away and I'm actually like, oh yeah, I know that's just like fourteen more KF two episodes to record, you know, and then I get to I get to play uh some VR stuff, assuming it comes on time anyway. Completely sincere. Uh which is kinda funny. Cause I, I, I don't know. Like I, I look at like fourteen KF two episodes, and I'm like, that's not really that much time because I have, you know, four hundred some odd of them. Four hundred and three after this one. Um, you know, I'm like, yeah, uh, 14 episodes, not really that bad, not really that far, you know, it's like right around the corner, right? Um, it's just another week of recording. Um, I find it, uh, I find it interesting anyway, but I, I actually do kind of, uh, you know, kind of, kind of go by time on that one, by, by with the, uh, with, with the recording, which is, is bizarre, but. I haven't been streaming lately either. I haven't been recording. I mean, it's just it's just all around bad, right? Not uh, not going too too hot here, but um, it's fine, right? It's fine. We're gonna be getting back into it. I still have not had a message from the person I commissioned. I sent them the money a while back, a few days ago now. It would have been uh, Tuesday that I would have bought uh, that I would have paid them, and it's. Friday today and I still don't have a message from them confirming that they've done it or having a sketch or anything like that um, so it's uh, I am I am mildly concerned I'm probably gonna message them and, and see if I can't get a response out of them just to like hey just want to make sure you know I'm not getting scammed here I just want something to, to give me some degree of comfort, you know, with uh, with regards to the whole purchasing decision here. I think it should be fine. Um, like I said, they they did say that um, she would. Uh, she said after I paid, she would get started on the sketch. So she should be working on the sketch to to get like the uh, the general idea of how it's going to look going on here. Um, and that can take uh, a bit of time, hence why, like, asking for, like, spec work or whatever is terribly stupid, because, like, that's a lot of work, right? Um, but, uh, it is concerning, because I just, I, I want to make sure that I'm not getting scammed here, and honestly, the part that kind of concerns me about it the most with getting scammed isn't the loss of the 100 bucks, because 150 or whatever Canadian, it's not that, because I'll get that back, you know? I'm, I'm not getting my product. I mean, I'm again, it's she's probably working on it and just hasn't confirmed that they got the money. It's okay, but you know, assuming I get scammed, you know, um, you know, I'm I'm not losing my money. I the hundred fifty bucks that I I spent or whatever isn't gone. I just I uh, I get it back, right? And then I I just but the the part that kind of gets me about it is I have to then find somebody else. 
and then go through the whole process with them and then pay them and, and get them to do it and then maybe they're scamming me as well you know it's just it's not about the money it's about the time right it's about the time um, for me personally because if, if I'm getting scammed if, if uh, this person who I am currently uh, commissioning is scamming me which I don't think they are um, then uh, it just, it kind of, this is just like four or five days or whatever that I've wasted. The money I get back. The money I get back in my pocket. It's not not an issue whatsoever, right? And I'm going to be spending that amount of money to, to pay somebody else anyway, right? So, like, it, it's totally, totally fine. It's just the, the time waste that, uh, that, that, that ends up happening because you don't have uh, your stuff coming up immediately, right? Cause yeah, you know, reasonably it can take you like, let, let's say I, uh, I send a um, a message today, right, Friday, when when I think that it's it's getting to the reasonable point for me to be concerned about not having any response back since I paid, right? I think it's also reasonable for them to not respond on the weekend because they don't have to work on the weekend. Okay, they also deserve time off. So it'll be like Monday or whatever, and then, you know, assuming they uh, they don't have the time Monday or whatever, Monday's busy or whatever, right? So like Tuesday really is the is the time where I'm going to be like, yeah, if I don't have a response back, I'm going to be like, hey, you know, really need a response right now kind of thing. And then, uh, you know, end up spending maybe like another week waiting for a response or something like that. And then... Uh, at that point, you end up, you know, charging back. You don't want to just charge back because you're like two days without, uh, without somebody talking to you because like stuff can happen and 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 time constraints kind of get in the way at times as well. And you don't want to start charging back to people just because like you know a couple of days of them not uh, responding to you because like you know maybe they just didn't have the time to respond. They were working on your thing or whatever. Now they're out money and now you're getting a bad name for being a bad person to commission things with and it kind of runs your reputation down and it, it's just it's a bad experience all around right so you gotta you gotta make sure that you're uh i've never noticed this does this shock it and then you get to yeah huh cool i never noticed that um but uh so yeah it's just like you know it's like it's like a week and a half, two week process from when you start looking for somebody to when you start looking for the next person, right? And then the whole process can happen over again if it doesn't go well. You could end up with um, why did I get money? I didn't do anything though. The whole process could end up going over again if uh, if you're getting scammed again, right? Because then you have to wait another like period of time before you, you you're really confident that like yeah this is a an unacceptable experience as a customer right and it's it just it kind of keeps looping until you eventually get something that you're happy with and yeah that's that's the part that kind of scares me again i'm gonna get my money back if i'm getting scammed right now as we speak you know if this person who i'm commissioning from is scamming me and i don't think they are but if they are i get my money back you know it's just a waste of everybody's time Theirs included, because because they also aren't gonna get that money. <laughs> the money's getting charged back, you know. Like it's, you know, they don't get to keep it. Gotta sneeze. It's coming. I don't think it's not coming. It's not coming. It's not coming. I thought it might have been, but it was. It wasn't coming. Um, yeah, it's just it's just waste everybody's time, right? So that's that's kind of what worries me with regards to um, to school all the way around, like back and forth. That's cool. That's cool. It's just a waste of time, right? It's just a waste of time. Yeah, it does go all the way back and forth. That is actually really cool. It does kind of like just clip through this though. Um, how much do you want to bet this right here? is something that was added in by uh, Tripwire devs later afterwards that's typically how it goes with uh, with the lowest quality stuff in a map you know 
you end up with like a fan creation and it's like fantastic and then tripwire is like oh but we also need like this here just so that we can have like uh, a little bit of uh you know meet the quota or whatever of, of space or something like that right and then it just ends up clipping because they just toss it in willy-nilly like the door in bio uh bio labs among other things um bring it dude bring it dude bring it dudes Hey, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at with regards to the commission, but assuming it's going well, and I kind of want to assume it's going well, you know, I like, I like assuming things are going well. I, uh, I want to make sure that, um, well, anyway, assuming that things are going well, then we're going to be having content coming out soon on the new channel. I have to wait for this stuff to happen though, right? Like I, I just, I have to wait. For for my uh, my my stuff to come, so that I can finally start making all the content I want to be doing. Start. I'm not sure how streaming's gonna work. Streaming wasn't going so hot anyway. Um, not sure how streaming's gonna work exactly. I do want to stream because I had fun with it, but you know, gotta kind of. Gotta kind of. Uh, you know, be be reasonable about it. Keep my my time investment down to a minimum as much as possible. But uh, it's you know we gotta wait for this stuff to happen, and, and that's 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 why I'm concerned about getting scammed more than anything. Is just because the sooner I can get this, the the happier I am. You know, the more delays we have, the less happy I am. Right? So it, there there's like a direct correlation between me getting not scammed and me being happy, which I guess is kind of normal, right? <laughs> like I mean, most most people aren't like yeah. I want to get scammed, you know. Nah, most people most people tend to tend to be pretty happy about not getting scammed, <laughs> I think. But uh, you know, it, it's just um, you ain't look at all the stats. Thirty thousand nine hundred eighty-eight damage. One hundred twenty headshots. Let's go. One twenty blaze it. Um, most people are pretty happy not getting scammed, right? Like that. That they tend to go hand in hand, not getting scammed and happy. It, they tend to be pretty closely linked, I think. But I just, I want it sooner, right? I want to get, I want to get into uploading my Minecraft footage. We've got, um, I've, I've talked about the Minecraft server that we're going to be running as well. Um, that's going to be happening pretty soon as well because, uh, reasons and stuff so every, everything's kind of happening and it's happening quickly and all I'm waiting on all I'm waiting on really at this point is uh, my new avatar and then my minecraft thumbnails but um, my minecraft thumbnails are pretty much done at this point so just gotta get that done as well I haven't paid for the thumbnails yet that's a friend of mine if, uh, if he ever does commissions for other people, I'm going to make sure he takes money before he does the commissions. Um, but uh, he's just been doing the commissions and then I've been paying for them. Which is... I don't really care either way. Cause, I mean, the thing is, is, is we both trust each other, right? Like, it doesn't really matter. We're friends. I'm not going to scam him and he's not going to scam me, you know? Kind of, they kind of just kind of, we, we, we know each other, right? We're good friends. We're close friends. Um, and I think a lot of people don't like paying their friends for, for work that they do, and a lot of people don't like getting paid for work they do for the friends. Nah. <laughs> okay? It's still work. It's still time. There's still value in it. All right, I want to pay my friends when they're doing work for me. If I'm like, I'm, I'm taking these thumbnails and I'm making like, uh, I'm trying to turn it into a business, you know? I think it'd be terribly rude for me to do it, get it done for free and then not end up paying for it. I think that'd be terribly rude. Why do they jump the wrong way sometimes? I don't get it. Um, well, whatever. We don't, we don't need the, we don't need the, the objective anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just I like I like paying people a fair wage for the jobs. I'm a I'm a capitalist, you know. 
I'm not really. I'm not really a capitalist. I kind of am. I kind of am, but not really. This thing's cool. Oh, there's another one down there too, eh? It just, you know, you don't get to... <laughs> nothing happens. Nothing comes of it. It's just kind of there. But it's cool, right? It's cool. It's cool. Now that's bullet time. I like it. I'm not touching any of your stuff, Mr. Flippin' Steampunk Weirdo. Weirdo? Freak? I got my new glasses. Well, not my new glasses. My old glasses. Um, they were sitting in a uh, in my desk. My desk drawer. It's, I've got... I've got <laughs> I, we'll start from the beginning, okay? We'll start from the beginning here. I have uh, two identical pairs of glasses. One of them is turquoise and one of them is purple. And uh, I, I like them. I think they look nice. Uh, but my... Uh, what color were they? My turquoise ones were getting a little bit uh, dirty, a little bit, you know, gross and stuff. So I'm working on getting them cleaned right now. Kind of, sort of. Which involves a lot of, like, manual labor and stuff to... Get them like nice and super clean, cause uh, I, I'm I'm pretty okay with having some dirty glasses. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me until it gets to a certain point, right? And then at that point, I can't handle it. It's not okay, you know. You know, at that point, it's it's no longer. Which way are we going? This way. You're at that point. It's no longer. Uh, it's no longer cool. It's no longer kosher for the glasses to be all gross and stuff. And it basically depends on how light kind of reflects on the dust on the glasses. Because you can have a, a an enormous amount of dust on your glasses, an enormous amount of filth on your glasses, um, and still be able to see through them just fine. Um, but. At a certain point, you're going to have some like reflection issues in, in bright lights and stuff like that, so you're not going to be able to see through them. So at a certain point, with, with my lifestyle, which is typically, you know, computers and phones and not really going outside, you know, I think that's a lot of people's lives these days. Um, I, I don't really worry about uh, cleaning my glasses all that much, honestly. I don't really worry about it. A certain point, you know, they end up getting really dirty, and then I clean them, and I switch to uh, my other glasses as I do so, and then uh, I just kind of like work on cleaning them every now and then, and I just like spray some water on them, rub some stuff all over it, and then uh, keep on repeating the process until they come up clean. Basically, is is how I do it. They're like a fidget toy for me, you know, They're like a fidget toy. It's not about cleaning the glasses, it's about having something to fidget with. And I think that it ends up getting some really clean glasses, some really nice, you know, lenses to poke my, uh, my corneas through. It's not how glasses work at all. Um, but it, I, th I think that, uh, it's, it's a good, it's a good thing that I got going on, right? <laughs> For me. Anyway, I switch, switch back and forth. And uh, keep keep clean glasses on at all times. At least glasses that are clean enough for me to be pretty okay with them anyway. Which is uh, way too dirty for a lot of people, I find. Like, people often look at me and be like, you know, family members or whatever. They'll often look at me and be like, whoa, how do you even see? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, it just it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me not at all. Could be a cause of a headache at times, but I don't know. I don't really let them get that dirty, you know? Take them into the shower with you. <laughs> I know some people that do that. They just take them right into the shower with them, and then uh, they just kind of let them get cleaned off with them. I mean, you do you, fam. You do you, fam. But that's not that's not my kind of... Uh, my kind of cleaning, you know? I used to be really bothered by my glasses being dirty. Used to be. 
I would clean them like daily, you know. It was it was like even not not even daily, but like multiple times a day, you know. Like they'd uh, they'd be cleaned like several times a day. I would be spraying them and wiping them down with the fancy little cloth and all of that. I used to be like super super anal about it because uh, like I, I I couldn't see through it either. But I don't know. At a certain point, it just kind of changed and stops bothering me at all. I don't even notice it really until it gets really really bad, and then I'm like, oh shoot, I have to clean my glasses. So anyway, I'm cleaning my glasses now. I got the uh, the spare here. I like cleaning my glasses. Honestly, it's fun. I just spray them and rub my fingers all over. <laughs> Which is, uh, it, it works though, it works. I got a little spray bottle next to me, and I just, I just spray them with the spray bottle. Rub my fingers all over them, then let them dry. And, uh, you keep repeating that process until, um, you pull off all the grossness on it. And then, uh, they're clean. Takes a little while, takes a little while, but... Gets them nice and clean. Certainly does. You can run them underwater too if you want. The, the issue with doing it the way I do it, with just a little spray bottle, is um, you know, I can't just like run them underwater because I'm not doing it like over a sink or something, right? I have to keep the water down to a minimum, so uh, I basically let them air dry, uh, and then some of that dust is, is still stuck in kind of like the water droplets and stuff, so it ends up like smudging on the glasses and making a making a mess on them. But uh, ultimately, you know, a couple of days of fidgeting with them and they're nice and clean. I wish I did have another cloth. Like uh, I don't know where mine's went. Mine's gone though. It's gone. It's it's it's, uh, it's disappeared. It doesn't want to be here anymore. It doesn't want to be a part of my life. I find that incredibly disrespectful, personally. But you know, so be it, right? So be it. If that's how it wants to live its life. Then then that's how it lives its life. Okay. We uh we stand that. Is that how that works? I don't know. I don't know how the kids uh talk these days. I just finally learned about the right in front of my salad meme. If you guys haven't heard of that one, it is a good one. It's a good one for sure. <laughs> yeah, get knocked back, you big oaf. Um, so the, the right in front of my salad is, uh, it's from a, um, a gay adult video where, uh, there was a, um, an extra, the wife of one of the, uh, main stars, who was just kind of like sitting at the table eating her salad as the, uh, the two male co-stars were performing, um, and she's, you know, oblivious to it because that's how these things work, right? Because they're just terrible. Um, she's just oblivious to it, and then she's like, Wait a minute! Are you... No! Right in front of my salad? It's the dumbest thing. But I love it. It was from like 2017 or something. Like, where was I during 2017? How did I not know of this? Because I think it's the funniest thing. Can he, can he get blasted? Can he get blasted over the edge? I bet he can. I bet he can. I want him to. I'm gonna maybe try that one day. One day we'll, we'll, we'll when, one day when we get the abomination on, um, on this, uh, on this map, we might, we might, uh, or any boss, King Blushbound, Abomination, those are really the only ones we can try it with. Um, one day we can we can give it a try, see if we can yay the boss over the edge. I know you can in some maps. I just I've never seen it happen in an airship before. I hope it can, because it'd be amazing. And now that I've kind of learned how to time this a little bit better, I think too, it might be uh, it might be doable. It might be doable. Anyway. Um, that's gonna do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, subscribe, see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.